This is an easy to sew tote bag and it's beginner friendly. Hello. Okay, are you ready to make the cutest bag ever? Okay, I got my cork here and canvas floral fabric. Need I say more? Let's go ahead and get started. I've cut out 18 by 24 and a half for the floral canvas fabric and 18 by six and a fourth inches of the cork fabric. And the straps I've cut three inches in the width and they're gonna be 30 inches long. So I cut two of those. The lining for the fabric, which I haven't cut yet, but that's going to be 18 by 40 and a half inches. I'm just folding the straps in half to get the middle and then I will fold them again into the middle to get rid of the raw edge. And right here I'm going to sew a piece of the cork to the floral fabric and I'm going to do that on the opposite side as well. I have never sewn with cork before, so I'm kind of excited for this project. Let me know what else I can sew with cork. I need some ideas. Now you're supposed to attach the wrong sides of the fabrics together, but my buffalo check fabric, there is no right or wrong side, so that's why it looks like this. And then you just fold it over twice. You fold it over once with a one inch fold, and then you fold it over again for an additional one inch fold. Okay, I took a bit of a detour. Before I fold my lining to the outside fabric, I've got to add this inside pocket. So right now I'm just gonna sew it down on the sides and then I'm just gonna sew it down the middle so it'll just be a pocket going straight across and this is going to be on the inside of the bag.
I tried to slow down the video right here, but I don't know what's going on. But you can see I've bended the strap back up and I'm going to sew over it again. And then I'll let you see it when I'm done. So I'm not sure why the video is going so fast. And that's what it looks like. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Now, right here you can see I've got my embroider machine out because I'm taking another detour. I'm just going to embroider this. It's for my daughter. She graduated nursing school. And so that was just a quick little detour. Okay, now we are just going to fold it with the outside is going to be on the inside. You can't really tell with these because it's got this really cute lining in it. And we're just going to sew down each side. And I'm using about a fourth, yeah, a fourth of an inch seam allowance. Because what you should have done, which I didn't do in mine, but uh, the original directions from Okla Roots, she wants you to do a French seam, which for some reason I decided not to do that. And I don't really like it. I wish I would have. After I sewed down both sides, I finished up the edges with my serger. We're not done yet. We are going to box up the bag, which just makes it have a little bit more structure. So right here, I'm measuring in two inches on each side. So you can see that I'm flattening out the corners of the bottom of the bag. And here is two inches. I'm gonna mark it and clip it so that the fabric doesn't shift. And I'm just going to do a straight stitch on the line that I drew. And then I'm gonna cut off the extra fabric. And then I also surged it because this lining fabric tends to fray easily. So I surged the ends. And now it is officially done. See, this is what the bottom looks like. And now it can just sit up a little bit easier. And now I just get admire it. Look how cute it is. I love the little pocket on the inside and I can't wait to give it to my daughter because yes, apparently she is a nurse now. So I'm wrapping it up. I'm going to give it to her with this deco quilt that I made for her. And I also did a blog about that as well. If you want to check that out, the video is right over here. And I do want to thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy sewing. Bye guys.